Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, I am going to show you directives. So directives are basically pre-processor calls, which you know means before it compiles, it does something. So it's actually before compilation. So all this other stuff generally is happens when you compile it, but this actually happens before. So there's a few main directives and I will provide a link with more information of those directives but one of the basic ones is to do something that's like a variable and for directives always have a hash and let's say if I put const then I put let's say a name for this directive I'll say I'll call it name equals so, so what this does is if we run it nothing should change it says press any key to continue so I'll print it out it's almost like a variable that's created before compilation. So this can't be modified at all. And this is almost just like a value that's there. And I could use it. So I could do console.write line name. If I run it, uh, what do we get? Oh, yes. Yeah, so so we can't use it like that because it's it exactly happens before the the actual what's it called <laughs> the compilation occurs. But what we can sort of use it in is something like a like an if directive. We can actually check for a certain condition. So if, if I do hash if and if I do name I'll say, I'll say equals Frahan. Uh, we need the end if to correspond with it and inside here we could do a console.write line and maybe if you're for Han which is me you obviously say enter that's cool so run it save enter if I change this to just Rahan it doesn't save it so it's, a, it's like we're creating a variable before compilation we can use it in a you know before compilation way where we're checking if name equals for harm and then we run some regular piece of code as you can see this is grayed out if i put the f back in it goes back to normal so you can actually see what we'll actually run it's not just about what we'll run it's what's actually going to get compiled and put into the executable whereas if i do that this line won't actually get put into the executable. Whereas if I do that, it does get put in there. And another way that you can do, you can actually have multiple conditions. So you could do hash, I don't know, else, else if, and let's say if else if name equals Bob, and let's do Batman. Um, quotation. Obviously, you could use numbers here if you want. That's fine for a data type. Is a okay? And we could do a console. Dot right line. Obviously, IntelliSense is not coming up for this because at the moment it's code that won't run. If I say, ooh, if I run that, it only shows enter. If I change this to I don't know eight none of the lines get run and if i change it to that one both i mean just the first line gets run you can have a default as well so if you want to do something by default you can put hash else and if i do console dot right line and i'll say default save that run it it's not running but if I were to change this to eight again, it will by default go to the else if none of the other conditions are true. So it checks this directive, nah, it's false. Checks this directive, nah, it's false. So you just fall back on the else directive. Ooh, forgot to do not without debugging. There we go, it says default. So that's directive. I'm gonna provide a link with this video that shows you all the all of the different facets of directives in Visual Basic. So feel free to take a look at that. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next programming video.